vengeance has been reworked. New class, he added paladins, is vengeance. Now deals tri le damage in an AoE. However, it also carries elemental damage from items, so like charms, all that stuff, and it scales it by a percentage. Okay. This is the actual Diablo 2 original vengeance. Speaking of Hammerdon, we also increased the travel speed hammers again. So hammers are even faster than they were previously. We got the speedy boy hammers. Redemption. So redemption now has um, life scaling mechanic to it. It previously capped the life. It now gains two life per level again. So that's also another indirect buff to Hammerdens. But between Joust getting CD reduction for hard point, uh, redemption buff, and uh, hammer speed buff, you can see Hammerdens got indirectly buffed in a lot of ways. So Hammerdens going to be a lot better than they were previously. Obviously, I'm using it for the revives. Are you guys ready? You want to see it? You want to see this change? Are you guys ready for this change? Are you ready? Enchant is now an AoE buff. It has also had the AoE increased by 300%. So it's an actual Nova now. It's not a mini Nova, it's an actual Nova now. So if you're a Nova Sin, for example, and you're teleporting around, you're casting your own Nova, you're basically playing double Nova now, right? You teleport around, and you're playing double Nova, right? That stabs have FCR auto mods in PD2 now. What if I told you that all normal stabs have 10 FCR, that all nightmare stabs have 30 FCR, and that all hell stabs have 50 FCR? Now what if I told you that if you found a normal staff that was pretty decent and you upped it, it would also get those bonuses. And then what if I told you that you could make infinity in staves and <laughs> infinity now has 35 base FCR and O skill cyclone armor. That you could make two <laughs> in a staff. Doom now has baseline 25 FCR. What do you think of this? Um, fuck, I need to stack my jaw runes. This is annoying. Chad, I don't want to stack my jaw runes. Nah, I'll just do this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, perfect. They're stacked. <laughs> All right, they're stacked. 
so that Tiger Strike now requires two weapons. Uh, Tiger Strike now requires two weapons, and Tiger Strike does a double attack animation. So it generates two charges every time it attacks. So every time you attack with Tiger Strike, you'll generate two charges, but it requires two weapons. This also means that your third attack, uh, the biggest damage attack, is going to alternate between weapons because it's got an odd amount of charges, right? We changed Druids and Druid Clubs. So all club type weapons can now spawn with Druid Auto Mods. And Druids now start with a 1 to Firestorm Club. CC Lewis 0624 with the Prime. I appreciate that. Uh, normal and Nightmare Claws didn't spawn staff mods, but they do now. So leveling as an M.A. Sin be a lot better so what i did is actually i increased the travel speed of poison jabs so they now travel much faster than previously uh plague javelin has a little bit more range than previously so it was previously about 75 percent of this so it's got a tiny bit more range and also has more speed as well non-stop keep in mind I'm over level but it's just to give you an idea of like tick rate and stuff Uh, increased max life mods give more XP than any other modifier by a significant margin. So everyone that was like always avoiding those max life mods, uh, max life mods now uh, will give you that incentive of extra XP. All right. So for example, this is a 51 max life map. It is 27 XP compared to this map, for example, which has 11%. Right see much higher XP on a high life map. Blood Warp is also using a deleted graphic. See the graphic that Blood Warp uses? This is also a uh, an unused graphic from within the game. Same with Teleport. Uh, our Teleport debuff Berserk now, instead of using normal attack animation, which caps at 9 frames, it uses dual wield animation, which can go down to 4, except with slow ass patriarchs. You know, let's do this real quick. So, Berserk now uses dual wield animation. Um, so it can attack down to, I believe it's four frames for the frenzy animation. Uh, leap and leap attack no longer have scaling based on base speed. They are now always at max speed, even at level one. So if you want to use Leap Attack or Leap as a utility skill on a Frenzy Barb, you can use it on a Frenzy Barb. Grim Ward can now be cast at any range. It is simply a range skill. So if you're a Throw Barb now and you want to use Grim Ward, 
You can stay at range, kill targets with your throws, and then summon Grim Wards. Chat, we have reworked Fireclaw. I repeat, we have reworked Fireclaw. So obviously this is really good for Rabies Druid. Let's probably level this up. Then more, just got no life on it. I gotta increase the life on these more too, they're still too squishy. How much does it scale to? It's minus 5% at level 1, and it gains 1% per soft point. We also changed it so that key drop rates are 100% now. Key drop rates are 100% now. Only organ drop rates are RNG.